Okay, I want to quickly talk about why we're using the Corona renderer in this course. Now, there are different render engines or Corona renderer, first of all, is a particular render engine and there are different ones on the market. Now, if you have a look on the left side um, for Cinema 4D, what comes with Cinema 4D is the standard and the physical renderer. Both of those render engines are kind of legacy. So that means they're outdated and they're qu quite slow. Now, why is Cinema 4D shipping with a slow and outdated render engine, you might ask? That is, that is because Cinema 4D, or rather the company behind Cinema 4D, Maxon, acquired a company which is called Redshift about two years ago. And Redshift was a new upcoming render engine, which is mostly GPU-based, or for the most part, GPU-based. That means you would use your graphic card to render your images. Um, because of the acquisition of Redshift, Cinema 4D kind of put their own render engines to the side and just focused completely on Redshift, which is fine. Redshift is also a great render engine. Um, if you have the chance and if you have the Maxon One package, you can of course also check out Redshift compared to the Corona renderer. Um, but there were some downsides at least in the um, like a year ago basically so redshift is as i said a gpu render which means you render on the graphics card and you need a dedicated graphics card for that so you basically need a, i don't know nvidia gtx or uh, rtx graphics card to use redshift most of you, I guess, as uh, students um, and not 3D professionals usually work with the notebook, laptop, and not with a workstation. So you might have a gaming PC at home, um, but you probably, I don't know, most of you probably have only one GPU in your, uh, in your computer. So the advantage of a GPU render really comes at hand if you have more than one GPU. So if you have a computer with two graphics card or even four graphics card, you can achieve crazy fast render times. And I mean, it's just compared to other render engines, it's really, really fast. But as most of us don't have this kind of equipment, uh, I decided to rather go with a render engine, which is also very fast, but which you can use on basically every laptop you have at hand. And of course, if you have a fast CPU, you will um, have more render speed, but you can use it on basically every computer which has a CPU. Furthermore, Corona Render is very easy to use. So compared to Redshift, in Redshift you have a lot of settings you can set up. You have a lot of things you can tweak to get more performance in your renderer. But um, yeah, it's also more complicated. There is more things to keep in mind. It's diff more difficult to set up. And Corona Render is really the most simple render engine you can get out there in uh, on the marketplace. Um, it, it has some extra costs, of course, compared to um, the one which you get with the Maxon One um, service. But the costs are pretty low for a render engine. Uh, I think it's about 25 euros per month or something like that. And if you're a student, it's even cheaper. And if you're part of the um, HDR un university lecture, then uh, you even get it for free. Now, um, we won't cover the biased and unbiased thing for now. We come to that later in the, when we talk about render engines even more. We don't have to be uh, concerned about this for now. Um, and yeah, what's else? Ah, PBR. Um, so Corona Render and Redshift are PBR based. That means they're based on a standard, an industry standard, which is basically just means physical based rendering. That means that all the light calculation and the material calculation are physically based and kind of orient themselves on the physical world. Um, the CPU, uh, the, the Cinema 4D render engines, the standard and the physical renderer um, are not PBR based. They're so old that they didn't follow this kind of standard. Um, and they also come with a lot of settings. Um, yeah, and they're slow. And they're also CPU only. So they're like Corona a CPU renderer, but 
they're outdated and that's why they're so slow and that's why you should forget about it. So if you want to use Cinema 4D in 2022 or 2023 or whatever, then uh, you should go with Redshift or you should go with the Corona Renderer. Yeah, that's, that's it for this video. Just want to make sure that you understand why we're using the Corona Renderer.